All right, to continue on with our last and final video, we're going to begin to code the footer of our theme. In doing so, we need to treat it as we did the header, encode the footer the same way we did the header. So if we look back at our header file, what we want to do is use the same uh, timber context and then pass that context within the, the menu. So if I look at the footer, let's go down to the footer and let's do this. We're going to put that above the footer and let's just create another tag. Let's create another tag. And I'll say context, context, timber, context, and timber, render. Uh, let's do templates and let's go to do, 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 do. and let's call it a uh, let's just call it footer. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, let's call it footer. That's fine. I'll just keep it in its own folder and then footer. Or just say index. All right. <clears throat> and let's carry it the way we do in others by saying um, H1. This is the footer. All right. H1. footer, index, twig. All right, and do that. This is the footer, okay? So we got it showing up at the bottom. So what do I wanna do in this template? Uh, let's say I had um, three columns along that bottom. So let's say I do footer, Put in a footer tag, footer. And let's say this one was, um, let's call it just footer column. That's the class. We may use other frameworks uh, like Bootstrap Foundation or Aboma to use their, their syntax so let's just, you know, for now, just do a footer column as a class. And so let's say we decide we want three, one being like the, um, the branding. So it could be the logo, the title of, or the name of the site or the business or the brand, and then contact info um, in each line. And then the second, the second column could be uh, a menu, so like a footer menu. And then the third column could be like miscellaneous. Let's say we have um, like social media icons or we can have another call to action to subscribe or even just a, um, a form input. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to implement the name of the site, 
um, some contact lines. And then um, on the second column, we're going to uh, include the nav menu. So let's do the second column. And Timber does a good job of allowing me to use functions within the template file so I don't have to pass it into um, a context variable and then pass it into the the render function so let's do that so if we go let's go back to the guide um, what I want here let's go to cheat sheet and then we go to blog info. So I want to pass in the site name. So let's make this a H4. And this will be the site name. Site name. And then we also want to Make this a href. So we do href. That. And of course, that'll be the link to the website. So we do site URL. And this function, these um, um, these shortcuts that I'm using, or I don't know, what would you call this? Methods, functions, whatever. Um, these are something that are these are are global, so I don't have to add those to a context. They're already global functions, so. You can see I have my footer and then it shows the demo site, the name of the site. So then I have, if I go in, I have my nav area, I have my hero billboard, my homepage content, uh, my blog feed section, and then my subscription area, all right? Let me go in and remove that. I'll just call this subscription area headline so we know. All right. And then we want to add. So let's just say we have um, a second line. And that's in that second line. On that second line, we have. Um, we have uh, like our if I was a business with a storefront, I would have the address. So let's just say 555 Main Street. Um, Main Town, USA. USA. Okay, so we have that, and then let's say we have our second column, and for this one, we just want to copy that exact same menu. Now, this could also be a case, too, where we would need to make some styling adjustments in um, in reference to the drop downs so we don't want to have our footer with drop downs I mean we can but it'll be more like a modal um, or we could just have them offset um, in a nice fashion to to show that it's a child of its parent right so 
that was fairly easy. It's just a matter of the styling at this point to get this to translate over in the footer. So we have our first column here. Um, let's just say we had a third column and this being um, our social media. So class column. And then it's just, I mean, we could just call it anything really. Let's just say our socials. F4, boom. All right. And then there's that, so boom. We have our nav. Then we have our billboard again, home page content, blog feed section, the subscribe area, then we have our foot. So we have all of our pieces in relation to our design here. Um, I won't go into too much styling in this video. In future videos, I'm gonna um, use the same approach in creating my archive page, my 404 page comments template. Um, and then I have my page template. There's other um, template styles that I wanna use or templates for my page. And then I have my search bar, my sidebar, um, my post, which is a, like a single page and I, I'll have multiple, um, template types for, or post types for, for this here also. So that's what you'll see in future videos for this one. It, it's wrapping up our series in basically coding our entire home page, uh, in twig using the timber plugin. And you can carry, uh, the same workflow over to other templates within WordPress. So that's it for this. Uh, if you